Hey everyone, I'm Joel on the road and today my UNESCO World Heritage Journey is at Mount Etna in Sicily, Italy. This is Mount Etna at 3,300 meters tall. It's the largest volcano in Europe. Now, as you can see, we're having a blizzard and massive snowstorm today. So it's gonna be a little bit difficult, but let's see what we can find. So we've been as close as we can get to the top, but with the howling wind and the snow battering us there, we just can't go any further, which is a bit of a shame. But we're still gonna have a look around and see what else we can find. Now because of the type of volcano that Mount Etna is, the eruptions don't only come out of the top, they can actually come out of anywhere in the volcano's general area. And there's over 200 mounds or craters dotted around the landscape. And because they can come from anywhere, it's really just the luck of the draw. There's a house you can see buried under snow and lava behind me. It was destroyed in an eruption in the 1920s and the owner figured there's no chance it's gonna happen again but it did. In 2001, the house was destroyed again. This time, they left it be. So it's actually really fascinating here because the lava fields, like you can see behind me, are just everywhere. And of course the lava just builds up over time, over hundreds of thousands of years that Etna has been erupting for. But despite that, it's actually very green as well. It's very fertile land because the soil that results from lava flows is very rich in minerals and nutrients and it makes for excellent growing land. So that people, despite the obvious dangers of eruptions, choose to live in the shadow of the volcano because it's a fantastic place to grow crops. Behind me, you can see the Valley of the Oxen, and it's a, the largest valley here on Etna. It's what's known as a black desert because it's just an entire huge black lava flow. Though there is, of course, a little green oasis of trees on the other side. And the lava here, it's all from different eras. Some of it is from as recent as the 1970s. Some of it is hundreds of thousands of years old. And that makes it critically important to the study of Etna and volcanoes in general. And that's a big part of the reason why it's on the World Heritage List. So this is a lava flow from the most recent big eruption of Etna and it starts right at the summit crater between 1991 and 1993. This lava flow oozed its way slowly down the volcano and it was heading straight towards the town you can see below me, Zafarano. For two years these residents watched the lava coming straight towards them. You can't quite see it from here but it stopped literally about five meters in front of the first house of the town. Well, here you can see Etna and the way it just towers over the landscape of Eastern Sicily. It's very, very beautiful. And it's fascinating to see as well how there's just such microclimates. Up on the top where we were earlier, there was a blizzard and then, you know, we've had rain, we've had bright sunshine, and now we've got wind as well. So yeah, it's very, very variable wherever you are. But that's it from me. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm Joel on the road, and I'll see you at the next World Heritage Site.